my name's Aaron. Welcome back to my channel. How are you? I'm fantastic and doing really well. And today I am viewing Ombre Nuit by Christine Dior. This little bottle was £110, which is 40 ml. 125 pounds is 220, 250 ml is 315, and 450 ml is 405. I bet I got that all wrong. Never mind. The family is amber floral and the fragrance of Amber Nui is the encounter between the two extremes, amber with an animal facet and Turkish rose unfurling its something in sophistication. So this contains rose and amber. Amber Nui was developed in 2009 and the notes are bergamot grapefruit. The middle notes are damask rose and pink pepper and the base notes are ambergris or ambergris, glackwood, cedar and patchouli. Do we have a bottles of Amber Nui by Christine Dior? Are we engaged with our high self? Let's get testing. So I remember loving this. So I'm really excited to see a few years on now if I still love it, if I still think it's as good, if it makes me faint on the spot, all that stuff. This is totally different to how I remember it. I don't know, I remembered it more ambery. I remembered it completely differently. Light, airy, and that is why it sells as light, airy. This is ice with super based, which absolutely you would start off an amber based perfume with ice with super, and that's going to help to give the backbone of wood, wood sort of velvety facet, which is at the backbone of this. Musk accord is key with this combination of musk smooth musk, uh, ethylene bracelet to work with that sort of ambery feel. Ethylene bracelet smells of sort of, it's vanilla musk, it's robust. You can dose it quite high. It goes with everything, it does everything, but it needs other musks added to it too. Otherwise it smells uh, a little bit basic. And a must to give metallic quality to it called Hannibalite. And Hannibalite is, was developed by Feminish. And apparently there is massive problems sourcing it. And I'm very curious how other companies are dealing with this because I spoke to three suppliers of Hannibalite and they were like, one was like, we absolutely can't get it. The other one, I took the last bit they had. And the last one I said, what are they doing about it? And they said that they are allowing their favorite customers, giving their favorite customers the musk and then uh, Sort of trickling it down. The hand like is a definite feel. It gives a modern, up-to-date, metallic, clean, ceramic feel to a, to a formulation which finishes things off beautifully. Gives this finish to it. Light gives that sort of robust lightness to it. It's used massively in men's fragrances actually, and it can make fragrances which potentially can smell quite female because this is quite rose-leaning, quite masculine. And I don't know how the perfume industry is going to get around this. There's no substitute. Hannibalide, it really does its own thing and it sits on its own. So I'm very curious as to what the industry is going to do about this. I emailed Feminish and they didn't even reply to me. So I don't know what these companies are doing. I've got enough to last me for about two years. So I had to sort of panic buy, which felt like supermarket sweep you know, rushing around with the trolley trying to push everything in. And I was like, oh my God, what, what's going to happen? And they said companies going to have to reformulate their formulations and must give a different, give a feel within the formulation. So I'm very curious to see what's going to happen. Either Firminish are going to sort it out or they're not going to sort it out and the discontinue it, which is going to be disastrous and it's going to really affect the perfume industry. And likewise, everything's going up in price. Alcohol's gone up four, five hundred pounds a ton. These musts are going up in price. There is sort of supply chain problems at the moment everywhere and it's kind of crazy and a little bit worrying when you rely on other other companies to supply you to finish your perfume. I think it's lovely. It has the Hedione, the Ambroxin. Ambroxin Hannibalide work really nice together. The Ambroxin Hannibalide, Phenol Ether Alcohol, Citronelle, Linlol. So that is the dry down of what you're getting. Modern, fresh, clean, ambery. Kumarin and Heliotropin is giving that ambery feel to the formulation, which is really delicious and very, very nice. Now it's drying down, it's weighty, so it has some weight to it. So this has some animal amber-like raw materials that are giving weight 
and have animal facets to it. And these ambery, woody, like raw materials um, can smell quite unpalatable, or you don't really smell them, but in a formulation, they're kind of gorgeous. Smoky from the Galac wood, which is solid at room temperature. Brown, sort of browny greeny, resinous. You can smoke seed wood, the most dominant of the naturals. Bergamot, which works beautifully with this. Sound wood, vertifer helps to give that slight herbaceous green quality and finesse and finish. On to my final thoughts. I love this, I think it's gorgeous. I think it smells very classy. I think it smells French, eloquent, perfumery, and I hope it stays around. When I was gonna re-review this, I thought maybe, oh gosh, it's gonna be reformulated so it doesn't have any of that sort of gorgeousness but it's dry and damn beautiful. This is robust on my skin. It smells very French, it smells eloquent, absolutely unisex. This I think would be gorgeous for a wedding or a birthday or Christmas day or as a signature fragrance. It's not too offensive, not offensive at all actually. It's eloquent and beautiful. So I think when you wanna get dressed up and you wanna do something gorgeous, I think this is absolutely beautiful. I think it's be a really nice wedding fragrance. Beautiful bit of projection, nice bit of longevity. It still has that beautiful, robust, ambery, rose-like quality to it. And Christian Dior, safe, legal, professional, just a brilliant company. The money, I think this is really, really good perfumery. I think it's really worth the money. Age, I think it's a suitable for, I don't think very young, but I think sort of this is a really good fragrance to start off with if you want to dress up somewhere, if you want to do something gorgeous, if you just graduation, you know, you studied at university and you're going for your graduation, this is great for it as well. I think if the date fragrance as well, this would be nice for date fragrance, that's the occasion I'll go for it. I love it and I can thoroughly recommend it. I'm going to give it a 10. I think it's just classic, beautiful, perfumery, totally unisex. I think it's lovely, it's radiant off my skin, absolutely gorgeous. So I hope you love that review. Thumbs up and subscribe for more fascinating, interesting content. Lots of moving hands and lots of fragrance views. Hope you're staying safe and well. See you soon.